My name is Shana Van, and I am presenting uh, the Principles of Public Administration Pillars Media Presentation, United States Response to COVID-19. Back in March 2020, we were given sudden notice of immediate government shutdown, uh, which required businesses to close and schools to close, which thrusted the American population into a sudden pitfall. Fast forward to October, and we are in no better position than we started in March. The death toll is sky high. The economy is down, crumbled, the worst it's ever been since the Great Depression. And we have children that are stuck at home, not able to learn. Mental health has gone through the roof. Domestic call cases have been coming into the sheriff's department around. And there's terrible tribulation all around the world. But the question remains, did the Trump administration do everything they could to make sure that they handled the situation as best as they could, given the situation and the cards that were given to them. You see, some people like to think that President Donald Trump holds a lot of power, but the reality is, while he's the commander in chief, his power is truly limited. His power is with how he presents himself and represents the nation and how he carries the communication with the people. Part of that strategy is withholding information when it's vital and necessary. Keep in mind, there's other players in the game we have that we're working with to assist us. We have the CDC, the subdivision of Department of Health and Human Services, that's all tasked with hard science, data collection, and surveillance to ensure that we slow the spread. Governors of each state have the authority and the ability to test the needs of their state and region and able to stay within their budget and create a prop proper policies that will impact them accordingly. Under the Public Health Service Act, the Surgeon General has the permission um, from the Secretary of the Department of Health and Human Services to prevent the spread of disease between states and other countries. So we have part of being effective in slowing the spread of COVID-19 was our ability to collaborate with boarding nations like Mexico and Canada. This pandemic revealed many opportunities for us to build re unified relations to, to better the society. So by closing the borders, it has proven to minimize travel and minimize traveling between countries has helped reduce the spread and should remain closed until the potential risks uh, are reduced. The death toll continues to peak. Riverside County just went into the purple, which requires the businesses to once again close their doors to inside service. Once again, our governors, our mayors, our local health departments have been challenged to step up to the plate what they've been trained for and help get us through this pivotal pitfall that we're in. Today we have children that are still without iPads and laptops and, and internet to help them with their distance learning. We have nonprofits that are struggling to maintain their programs because of lack of support uh, financially and the lack of volunteerism. Church doors have closed. While some have started to slowly reopen, there is a lot of people falling away from the church. Lose the human interaction when we can't hug and when we can't, when we can't see people smiling. This has definitely impacted us more ways than one had to make sacrifices known and unknown. Economists say that without the Coronavirus Relief Act, we would have been significantly impacted even far worse than what we have. Um, businesses were able to still play their employees. Employment insurance was able to uh, give an additional $600 supplement per paycheck program which offered a lot of families to stay afloat through these months. Overall, Trump administration has proven uh, to work towards the efforts in protecting the health and well-being of its citizens. But really what the coronavirus is, is the unveiling of the truth, the exposed hidden systematic errors um, through government, through business, and through the private sectors. Some people are considering this a divine reset, an opportunity to, that they would have not otherwise been given to go into an isolation period and self-evaluate. We have to come together. It doesn't just fall on the president. It doesn't just fall on the um, government. It falls on the individual lives of you and me. We're called into action and we better deliver.
original design from our fathers was to create a system in such a way when faced with global challenges, it would be our diversity who arises out. Anything, the coronavirus revealed not only our weakness, but it also proved our strengths. The fact that we're all interdependent on each other, not one person in authority holds all the power, is a beautiful thing. Ultimately, lives have been saved and the economic fallout could have been greater. We learn from history and employ virtue and strength when embarking on the next crisis and how we can get out of this moving forward. Thank you.